Erica and Brian are with us in the studio this morning. Good morning. Also with us, the co-author of Office Mate, Stephanie Losey. Good morning to you all. You guys are so cute. We're showing the tape piece. They're smiling, they're giggling, they're so happy. Still relatively newlyweds. Too. Still relatively newlyweds. And when are we expecting? Mother's Day, so May 8th. Wow, wow. Yeah. You started out as pals. Is mm -hmm. that right? Did I get that right mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the research? So you were just bubs first. When did you know it was crossing over from bubs to something else? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Brian asked me to dinner where an old coworker was um, waitressing and during dinner the topics got more personal and it was kind of got romantic. There was candlelight, great food, and I think on the way home I realized, oh, this is someone that I could see myself dating. and. Hmm. Um, Did either of you have any misgivings though? Because you were the senior person in the in the firm. You were brand new, as you yeah. said in the piece. Did you ever have any thoughts like this? You know, there are HR rules. There are all kinds of things that could come into play here. Yeah. Well, you know, there there, there are HR rules at the office, and uh, you know, for the most part, it's use common sense. You mm -hmm. know, and uh, and don't make. You know your coworkers uncomfortable. Sure. And um, I think you know we, we did a good job of, of I think keeping everyone at ease. Right. And, and there were certainly misgivings. You know, and like I said in the in the, the piece, you got to be in it for the long haul. I think. Uh, maybe that. that, that, that okay. Very part. good. Uh, but interestingly enough, you kept it secret for a long time. Is that the usual case with office romances? Well, you. Do you try to keep it secret for a long time, or right. do you successfully keep it secret uh, for a good long point. time? Good I think point. that's yeah. Yeah. I think people try to keep it secret at least until they know that there's really something there. They're really in a relationship. Yeah. But the truth is that the gang probably figured out they, they were going know. to date yeah. they before all know. they dated. Yeah. That's, that's exactly. what we found in our book. We were saying off the air because I ended up meeting my wife at my workplace, and everybody assumed we were dating long before we even started dating. The downside of that, though, is gossip. Mm -hmm. You're involved in a situation like this, and people are observing, they're watching you very closely. How do you avoid the, the gossip? Well, if you conduct yourself with dignity, mm -hmm. then people will respond accordingly. All oh, right, all right, all right. 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 <laughs> Easier so said than done. Don't go into the supply closet <laughs> yeah. or Xerox your butt on the Canon copier. Oh, I mean, we could, we wait could. a minute. <laughs> don't, don't Xerox my, okay. Yeah. Uh, here's my other question, though. So it worked out for these kids. Yeah. All these people who are dating, the numbers show phenomenal numbers of people dating each other in the workplace. It's not, most of the time, it's not working out. What happens then when you break up and Susie and Bob are two, are two cubicles apart? Well, you know, the, the theory in our book, Office, Office Made, is that the workplace is the village of the 21st century, right? All right, all right. So go back in time. There you are in your village, and you've known these boys all your life, uh -huh. and you're going to date one of them. And then does, the, does your grandmother say, now, don't date that nice boy from down the street, because if you break up, you're going to see him at the grocery store. It'll okay. be terrible. Right, no, sure. you know, find right. someone from the next town. That's it's just not real life. Left. Right. And so it's the same way in an office. Uh -huh. So if you break up, you know, what mostly happens, as with this couple, as with the other couples in your office, there mm -hmm. are two other couples in their office yeah. who dated, oh, really? married, stayed, yeah. wow. besides our interviewer, <laughs> who is against it and yet right. did it himself, yeah. as all baby boomers do. Right. Is that a boomer thing? It is a boomer thing. It's less thing for millennium? It's thugs? a boomer thing to do something and tell other people that they shouldn't do it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> So as the workforce is getting younger, right. the acceptance rate is going way up. I mean, Michelle and Barack mm -hmm. met at the office. Yeah, she true. was his superior. Right. She, he had to offer to quit his job right. for her to you know, date him. So very cool. Kid. So you come out at this Christmas party, yeah. right? And what was the reaction of your coworkers? Um, they all knew and said it's about time. And I think yeah. you know they even laughed that we came out, obviously, in December. And they were like, oh, we caught on in October. <laughs> yeah, we just like you were saying. Sure. Yeah. Long they before. Knew, they knew well before. <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah. So as as if someone were to ask you about this, you would say, as long as you're discreet and if you're thinking about yeah. going for the long haul, it's yeah. probably the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we get to spend a ton of quality time together this way. And oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You, because you were still together at the workplace. Yeah. I mean, it's then you bring the work home too. I mean, yeah. We we tend to, but you know, you have to have some boundaries. You know, we don't carpool together, for example. Oh. <laughs> so you know, we That's get very we get time in the morning, yeah. time coming home, okay. and, and you know, we have to break off. The, okay. Uh, the work conversation right. at dinner time. That's it's bad for fun. the environment, but good for our marriage. Oh, so. 
out there. <laughs> That's very good. Brian and Erica, thank you so much. <laughs> Stephanie, good job. <laughs> nice boomers, to be here. boomers, zip yeah, it. Boomers, Forget about it. it.